Бажаю здоров'я, шановні українці, українки. I wish you health, fellow Ukrainians. On October 20th, my team and I were in Kherson region in Mykolaiv. There were a lot of tasks. A meeting with the military, Commander-in-Chief Zaluzhny, Chief of the General Staff Shaptala, Commander of the Odessa Operational Strategic Grouping of Troops Khnatov, and Commander of the Marines Sodol, Head of the State Bodyguard Service General Dineko, a special format, a narrow circle, regarding the situation in Kherson and the region, in the south in general as well as in Donetsk region, first of all of Divka. I am grateful to all our guys who are holding their ground and destroying the occupier day after day. These day Russian losses are really impressive, and it is exactly the kind of losses of the occupier that Ukraine needs. We also discussed the Kupiansk direction in Kharkiv region. I held a meeting in Mykolaiv with the leadership of the region and the city, the military, the law enforcers, to discuss the protection of the region, our infrastructure, our ports, corridors in the Black Sea. We also analyzed social issues that are important for Mykolaiv and the cities and villages of the region. Energy, heat supply, water supply to Mykolaiv and the region, the quality of water supplied to the city, social services, economic activity, all the things that really need attention at all levels of government. I am especially grateful to Denmark for their effective support of Mykolaiv, for their sincere assistance to the city, just as we agreed with Prime Minister Frederiksen. I visited our warriors in Mykolaiv hospital who are undergoing treatment after being wounded in battles. I thank them for their strength and thank the doctors for their dedication to their work. An important report by the regional head of the Security Service of Ukraine on the protection of Mykolaiv and the region from subversive activities of Russia and collaborators. Thank you for your work, guys. Special attention is paid to protecting the sky from Russian bombs and missiles. We are working to bolster air defense. I thank everyone in the world who helps us with this. In particular, I spoke with Olaf Scholz regarding air defense as well. We are working together to ensure that patriots in the hands of Ukrainian warriors can do more. Already this winter, I invited Germany to take part in a meeting of advisors on peace formula, which we are preparing for late October. We also discussed the situation in the Middle East with the Chancellor. I thank Olaf that our agreements are being strictly implemented. President Biden delivered a very important, indeed historic speech. Yesterday we spoke with him, it was a good conversation. And now there is his address, powerful, timely, one that really adds our confidence. Thank you for your unwavering support for Ukraine. The democratic world understands how important Ukraine's resilience is for the freedom of all free nations. And not only in Europe, we can overcome all threats. The speech by President of the European Commission Ursula von der Leyen the day before is also inspiring. I am grateful to Madam President for her clear call to speed up Ukraine's path to victory, a call to everyone in Europe and the free world to be as united as possible, as long as it takes to defeat the terrorists who seek to destroy our states and our lives. Europe must prevail, not those who are trying to turn our lives into ruins. And one more thing, October 20th is the 20th anniversary of the intelligence of the border guard service of Ukraine. They are heroic warriors, I had the honor to congratulate them, to recognize them with state awards. I held a separate meeting with the bodyguards on the tasks they perform. They perform them effectively, and I am proud that bodyguard service of Ukraine and its units are only getting stronger. Glory to all of you warriors, glory to our strong nation, and thank you, Kherson Mykolaiv. Glory to Ukraine.